Seven. So Garcia Tolson, Serrano, Trusov, Maliar, Basilov, Austin, Sadi, and Carlo Magno. Getting away very nicely was Evan Austin of the United States, so to Mark Malia, but the use of the underwater is most exceptional by the South African Saudi. It's not the strongest of uh, butterfly swimmers as they go out, and the butterfly then they will swim one length back in backstroke. They will then go into breaststroke before the freestyle leg to bring them home. Yep, right now you see Evan Austin coming out in that butterfly. This is his best leg. One of the things I love to watch about the 200 meter individual medley is that you have to do one length of each stroke. And different folks are good at the different disciplines. You also see in the breaststroke, some of the people drop down a class like Maliar. So it's really important that he gets out fast in the fly in the back because he's slower than some, some of the others who remain SB7s in there. Evan Austin is leading the way into the backstroke, but he is going to have a slightly weaker back end, so does need to make this count. At the moment, it's a very good-looking swim in lane three from Andre Trusov. Now, bear in mind, he has got plenty of power in the 53, so should bring it home fairly comfortably. He will lose a little bit of space, you imagine, in the breaststroke. Now, Saadi is a good breaststroker. He's a three-time World Championship silver medalist. He won silver at the Commonwealth Games in the 53 as he goes into the breaststroke now as well. Yeah, but coming into the breaststroke, watch lane two. Carlos Serrano Zarate, this is his best leg. Yeah. We saw him come up in the morning, and I think we're going to see him come up again. This is the world champion. Here he is going in uh, lane two. He didn't have the best of times in the slower heat, but he makes up plenty of space. A very long, comfortable stroke, but he engages all the muscles in his back. If he's level, though, with uh, Malia or, or uh, Trusov going into the wall, it's going to be a big challenge for him to come home in top spot. But the battle is on. There could be any one of six at the moment with only Garcia Tolson and Carlo Magno really out of it at this stage. Touching first is Trusov. He, if he can use his turn nicely, should be coming home for gold. But it doesn't matter on paper. What matters is how it plays out in the pool. And Serrano has got the experience. Watch Trusov and Mark Mullier as well. He's showing real appetite and hunger for a gold medal here. The battle is on, seemingly leaving the others behind. Mark Mullier of Israel, second in London at the World Championships, is going to leave not only the world champion behind, he's going to leave the world champion in the 53 behind, having touched level. He's going to smash the world record as well. The man from Haifa takes it home in world record time. Mark Mullier, as he claims a gold for Israel, 2.29.01, the first swimmer and swimmers to go under 2 minutes 30. Trusov has gone 2.29.99. But for Israel, courtesy of Malia's swim, they are victorious in the pool once again. And the world champion is now a bronze medalist, Carlos Serrano. Basilov. A fine comeback at the last hundred over the uh, breast and the free saw him finish fourth. Evan Austin faded to fifth, and so too Sadi on the 50 meter as he finished sixth. But Andre Trusov, uh, given his times, given his ability in the 50 free, for Trusov to be so outswum. I mean, <laughs> Maliar, I mean, one of the things that really separated him, though, is he's got that leg impairment, which means that he can come back in the freestyle with his arms. See, going off the start, Maliar is out. Serrano had a good fly leg, but it was really Evan Austin here who took the early lead in the butterfly. Maliar, he looks good in the fly, but he certainly wasn't, you know, ahead of the rest of the pack. He comes in, he had a solid backstroke leg. You know, he, he puts his... He keeps his head relatively straight. Breaststroke, I would probably say, is his weakest leg, except he's able to hang in there and not let the others get too far ahead of him because it's really on freestyle where he comes in and he just had a remarkable last closing 50. The speed that he had to generate, because at, at that point, you know, you're hurting just everywhere. So it's all about just bringing it home, which he did. <laughs> well, there's uh, the old saying, no pain, no gain. And despite all the pain, plenty of gain here for this man. Mark Malia has come home for glory and gold at the Games.